And Ben Tracy uh, joins us now from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Uh, ben, I know it's uh, chilly there in the relatively pre-dawn uh, air, but I, I, I got to, as a space nut, if nothing else, I have to ask you. Gwen Shotwell, again, we just heard her say the company's mission uh, was in part one to take people to uh, other planets. Exactly to what was she referring? Yeah, she was talking about the red planet, Mars. The, uh, the ultimate goal of SpaceX, actually, when they were founded, was to take people to other planets. And uh, they have said they want, in the next 8 to 10 years, and this is a pretty ambitious goal, they want to put human feet on the ground in Mars. So that is part of the plan. And these rockets are really the first stage of that. They will need much larger rockets, more powerful rockets to make that happen. But this is the first stage. And as you point out, it's also, it's, it would be nice if they could then take that rocket back uh, at some point. Look, we, we, we saw uh, the image uh, of the Falcon 9 uh, explode on the launch pad. And it certainly hearkened uh, the early images of the American space program, where failures uh, were manifold before uh, we finally did uh, take flight. Assuming that this launch then is successful, where do they hope the rocket will land? Well, it's pretty cool. It's going to be just like that video you saw in the piece of that rocket that comes down and lands on that drone ship in the ocean. That is the plan for this mission as well. So this will go up, they'll bring it back down, and it'll land on that ship. And I don't know about you, but when I see that video, it just looks like something out of a movie that somebody made yeah. up. It is hard to believe that they actually were able to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a very special effect, if you will. Uh, we heard, uh, obviously, the uh, millions and millions that have been poured into this project, both with with the rocket itself and the satellites that will sit atop it. How crucial is this launch then? Yeah, this is crucial. I mean, this, this needs to go smoothly for SpaceX. I mean, not only is that rocket $62 million, so you don't want anything to happen to it, but this is really a reputation issue and a confidence issue for SpaceX's customers. You have a company like Iridium that has all these satellites on there. They obviously don't want to lose those. So I think even SpaceX has been very forthright in saying that this is a, this is a crucial launch for them, and they expect it to go smoothly. All right. All eyes will be uh, training there. Ben Tracy again at Vandenberg. We very much appreciate the time. Ben. Thanks, Josh.